Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And these are the cool little magnet things that Vanessa brought yesterday and we did a dip. We each have one. It's, it's very charming. I have to ask her where she got them so I can throw some of those on the Amazon link that's below show more under the video. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas and it does not matter how I begin this because my plan is to go ahead and try an experiment that I'm even unwilling to talk about it yet, but it doesn't matter right now. I'm just going to add some background and um, my background is going to be some gold on the top with some black from Anita's that's a metallic. It's very gray. And some similar colors on the bottom, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to just play because I can with whatever will come out and wow okay that did not really come out exactly as I had anticipated but uh, I like swiping with my OXO omelet turning spatula best paint spreading spatula around let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing yep use that paint up kind of want to put some uh, some white in the bottom there let's put some white pearl in there just because I've left my paint outside for a while while I went in and uploaded a movie to YouTube and um, it's a very hot day. It's We're trying to break records here. So I don't know how this is going to work and I know I say that a lot but I want to make a ring pour cup in the shape of a cat. Nobody may ever see this video if it turns out badly because my ego couldn't take it right at this point. But that's, that's not true either because sometimes it's important for me to share with you guys that we all have to go through our lumps and our growing pains and practice is what gets us where we want to be. And you can't assume because I can do something that you can instantly do it because I've done literally over a thousand paintings. So, you know, that should speak for itself. So I think I'm going to leave that blue right in there. And I want to just do that. I may or may not like this top. Um, I need, I'd like to have enough paint go to the edge of the canvas so that I have my edges covered. So I'm just going to tap off some of the what's on the spatula and run the spatula down the side, which works really well, by the way. And if I want some black in there, I'll put it in there. And if it turns out to be kind of neutral, that's okay with me too. Well, I say that now, but we'll see how I feel about it when I actually get come to the time where I have to choose. I kind of need to choose the color of my cat, and I think it's going to be black and white for just, just for simplicity's sake. And um, I'm not sure how this is going to go. It's been a long time since I was since I drew much of anything. I mean, I doodle occasionally, like everybody does, but um, well, I assume everybody does because I do, but that doesn't necessarily follow. But I did, uh, I have done portraits, and I had I did win my first juried show for portraits and graphite the first time. I, first time out. I went first and third place actually. So I'm thinking just take some of that color from the bottom. Now I either want some black or some blue in the top and I think I would like straight black. It could be that purple because I like that purple right there. Some of that's not going to show. Yeah, that's a little subtle, more subtle than it could have been. I like the gold up there. <laughs> Guess what's coming next? Yes, Vanessa was here yesterday for class and she said she didn't care for gold as much as I do, but she understands my affectation, I guess. So that's a good thing. So we could almost even put that away for right now. I'm just gonna blow that right over the edge and stop it with my spatula make sure my edges are kind of covered. So there's my base that I'm going to stick my cat on, I hope. Let's make sure I have another spatula with me. I hopefully don't need it. I am going to use this cup. I'm going to start with some some straight white, I believe. That could be wrong. That might be the pearl. I got to figure that out right quick. So I'm going to mix up the blacks and I think I'm going to put some gold in there too, just because I happen to like it. And go back and forth. I could put some copper in there. I think I want... 
I've been thinking about it. I wish I could figure out, and I kind of started thinking about how I could make an, an ocelot cat pattern. I don't think I really need a lot of paint, but I don't know. So having too much is not a bad thing right now. And I'm kind of, kind of varying my stripes. And I'm going to try and make them small layers so I actually get stripes. And I, I wanted to use my bigger bottle because I know it's straight white, but I don't think it matters at this point. What else? I want regular black in there. And I'm liking that gold. It's a lot of gold. A lot more than I was thinking about. Almost ready. Now, the way I was thinking about this is if I go from the side, I'll get more interesting patterns. So I'm just going to give myself what I consider to be the head area. Whoops, that's a slippery canvas. And then I'm going to let it flow down because I'm not really expecting to use all of that ring, just part of it. And I think what I'm going to do right now is give myself a couple of ears just by dipping right in there. This is the, this is the rear view <laughs> because I'm too chicken right now to go for the front yet. I've, I've drawn cats my whole life. But right now I'm not sure of myself at all because it's fluid art and it's not the same. But I did think I would probably enjoy having some stripes. It's just that I don't seem to have the stripes I was hoping to have. All right, so let's find a little Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and see what happens when we try and manipulate that down to where we want it to be. I'll worry about that later. So that's quite a bit of cat. I don't really think it matters if I go in a ring or not. I think it would be probably better if it was not. And I'm also going to manipulate manipulate the, st the paint that I've got right there because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. There's a reason for that. I need to believe I can. All right, so Kitty needs a tail. And I need a rag to wipe off my skewer with. Kitty needs some shoulders too. I think I'm very tempted to put the chain in there. I don't know why. It just, it occurs to me that it would make the kind of stripes that I'm interested in seeing. This is evidently a fat cat. I'm going to grab my straw because it is probably the least invasive way I can spread those stripes out. Or maybe the most, who knows. I never thought about trying to herd paint with the straw, but I am now. The only thing that makes that a cat right now are those ears. <laughs> the spatula should work, but there's no guarantee I'm good at it yet. And I'm going to try and blow. I'm going to try and put some paint down there. Maybe a little outline isn't going to hurt anything. Maybe Kitty has a, has a shadow. Using a little shadow is not a bad idea. I kind of want a tail, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what I can get away with. I 
I have no idea how this is going to work at all. But it does look kind of like a cat from the back. <laughs> so I'm not feeling it. Completely anyway. I do like that black there. I'm not sure why I like it so much. It tends to make me want a little more because if I put the black down then I can blow it into the shape and maybe reconfigure things just a little bit and if I was going to do something like whiskers on this I would do it tomorrow okay so we need a shoulder Just blowing my pussycat in. I think I'm going to add some stripes to the back of his head just because his or her head. Just because I can. Hey, that's the name of my book. On the Amazon link. Yeah, I am. I'm just dragging my skewer through the paint. Seeing what I can get away with. That's the wrong color. I can just dip into my cup of colors and apply the paint right with the tip of my bamboo skewer. It's a fat cat, <laughs> but it's a first try. And I don't mind that gray is making a shadow on the side. That's kind of cool, actually. It's a very fat cat, though. I'm trying to see if I can lengthen it up a little bit. I think it depends on how much paint you're going to be willing to allow yourself to use. The only time I can fix this is now. And I've got some pretty colors left, so obviously... Oh, really? Okay. Do not leave the skewer in your hand. I have a feeling that is going to move right back out again. So I'm not going to be too concerned with where it goes yet. Still sort of a cat. Sort of, kind of. I'm going to have too much paint very shortly, though. So I should probably give this cat a shadow. Maybe a line of demarcation. Hard tell and not knowing. What I'm supposed to be doing, because I've never done it before. And I'm making it up as I go along. That's a lump of something. Come out of there, Hugh. So 
stupid and messing up where his tail's at, but I guess that's always fixable later because it's only a tail after all. Kind of wish I had a lot more white in there than I've got. Every time I blow it in and I get a better shape, I think I'm home free and then I look back and it's, it's back. I kind of think there must be a better way to do this than the way I am doing it. I want a white spot on the end of that tail. That's what I want. <laughs> Cootie's got a white spot. There, that shows up a little bit better. I kind of think I could steal some paint. The rest of me thinks I should just blend this in. Wow, that's a lot of time. All right, well, it is what it is for now. And you've got, I've got two minutes to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you. And uh, it is what it is. And hopefully I can use that black as a shadow, but I don't promise. Might need to do some work to this tomorrow to make it really and truly work right. But it's got some interesting things about it. And that would be the cat's spine right there. It sort of kind of almost does it. <laughs> Which is not really what I have in mind. I kind of really want it to absolutely do it. And you're going to be gone in a minute. But if you like my experiments, and you're hoping for part two, please give me a thumbs up. They cheer me up at the very least. They may actually have, they may actually hold some meaning for getting my videos some better placement. If you want to help me, there's always a contest running. Actually, it's a drawing, it's a monthly drawing, and it's on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of the video. It's usually attached to an exhibition video. Yes, I'm finger painting now because I see canvas and I see deep paint and I know it doesn't matter and I suspect I'll be doing something tomorrow. I'm going to try and figure out where I can put a shadow to make this seem more like what it's supposed to seem like. But it looks a little cat-like and I know I can add some shadows tomorrow so maybe I should just leave it alone. Give it a torch, call it good, tell you guys to check the end, check the um, community board for tomorrow's video if you want. I see that thing that is bugging me. I never did put the chain in there, and I'm still oh so tempted. And you're going to be gone in a second. And I love you guys. There's 80,000 of you. And if you want to watch some more videos, look on my channel for playlists. There's 900, I mean, there's nine, nine lists of 100 and topics. And I really appreciate you guys. All you wonderful comments keep my morale up during the weird times. And um, that's important to keep me here. So thank you very much for being supportive. I might have to just keep playing with this for a while. I also should probably just let, let it alone till tomorrow. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, shop my Amazon link. It's right under the video. It helps me out at no added cost to you, and I love you for it. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you come again. And uh, there might be part two. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just unsure at this point whether there will be or not. It looks like there should be. All right. Bye for now. Can you even see all that?